Hello you, it's Josh here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build quite an advanced fireworks show right here. Which means it's going to be quite hard. But I'm going to be showing you how to basically do it on a lake or kind of a river or something like that. Although it's completely up to you where you put this. You can put this in your park basically anywhere behind a building, in a field, in your lake. You can put that wherever you want but I'm just going to be showing you in the lake right here as well. Showing you just kind of how to build that sort of lake area i guess in a way so yeah without further ado let's get on with it so obviously what you can see here this is some of the fireworks show right here i'm not going to show you all of it right here just because you know you can see that in your own game but basically it looks quite nice uh, i'm very very happy with how it turned out actually i think it looks really really cool here but anyway let's actually start building rather than ranting here so what we're going to start off with first of all is this nice lovely sort of lake area right here this lovely river area here so what we're going to do is we're going to go into our block manipulation, do remove terrain, and we're going to make that as big as possible right here. Now, obviously, this isn't very realistic. You probably have a bit more space, but, you know, between the path. Although, obviously, I'm just going to do this in a bit of a smaller area just because we've got a bit of a smaller area to work on right here. So we're just going to go on to remove air right here. And for this, we're just going to payload it here. And we're just going to do one, two, three blocks, except for we're now going to go into our grass here. I'm just going to make it slightly smaller. Now that's just so it's central here. You can change that if you want. You don't have to do it at this sort of size right here. But this is just the size that I'm going to be doing it in this example right here. Now what I've done here is I've painted the terrain sand. Although again, do whatever you want here. This sort of part is a very just, you know, uh, basic sort of thing that kind of fits the fireworks show quite well. Although if you want to change this, obviously not everyone's park is going to be is going to look like this. It's going to have this sort of space. So if you want to do it slightly different, like for example, happening point has like a thing you're going like this. You can just add the fireworks shows anywhere you want. You don't have to do it exactly like this. So yes, yeah, so you can see here, now we've got this little hole right here and it's all nice paired. So we're going to go into our scenery, go into fence, walls and poles. And we're just going to add a nice wall brick going all the way along. You don't need to have precision build mode, just make sure, you know, well, actually you can't really do much here. But if we go all the way across like that, just like that, I'm just going to do it normal colour. Although again, change that if you want. We're then going to have a wall brick like this with this lovely fence on top of it. We're going to go into our roofs and ceilings. I know I'm going quite fast here, by the way. But if you, you know, if I'm going too fast, just please feel free to pause the video. It's just because this is quite an advanced tutorial right here. And I don't want this video to be like half an hour long. So I'm just trying to go as fast as possible. So what we're going to do here is make sure that our uh, precision build mode is enabled. Place it like that. We're going to go on default, raise it up a little bit. Then we're just going to go into quarter snapping right here. Bring that down, actually. And then using no snapping right here, what, I, what I'm going to do is just line that up like that. And then now you can see it's kind of got a little lip on top of it right there, which looks quite nice. Then we're just going to put our, our, our custom snapping to two, which is what I like to do here. Just makes it a little bit easier. And bring that all the way across like so. Next, we're going to go into our fences, walls, and poles. We're going to use a pole brick right here. And we're going to set our snapping to default. We're going to set our vertical grid to a quarter. And from here, we're just going to raise that up by a quarter like so. Now, uh, you can go into your, uh, you know, precision build mode right here. And then just set the uh, snapping to two, uh, to four, sorry, actually. We're going to snap our custom snapping to four. And we're just going to bring that all the way along like so. Because basically, you can see here, it's two squares along. Obviously, if you don't want to use precision build mode, you don't need to. But I'm just going to use it right here. We're going to put our vertical grid to just default here. And actually, no, we're going to put it, sorry, to a quarter still um, to make this look a bit better. We're going to place that there, and then we're just going to bring these all the way along. Now, you can bring this all the way down to the bottom, but, you know, I'm just going to leave it like this because really, you can't really see this very bottom part here. So I'm just going to leave it like that. And then what we're next going to do here is chuck these lights in. So we're just going to get our lantern right here. We're going to set this to a ape snapping, and we're going to set our vertical to a quarter here. And then we're just going to line this up with the top right here like that and we're just going to lower it by a quarter like so and then once we're in here we're going to go to a custom stamping of four again and bring these all the way along like that uh oh there we go give it a second and there you go you can see pretty simple we've got that all nicely chucked in right there and that's basically all we need to do here i am going to add a little path like so we're just going to oh sorry i didn't mean to do that we're going to uh, turn off precision build mode and we're just going to place this all the way along here i'm just going to do a little free long thing like this and then I also added a, you know, uh, some little seats and stuff in here. So if we just go into our trash cans, I use these ones right here and I place them right there. Uh, if you just go two and then one like that. And then again, here two and then it's just that one there. And then I also added some seats like so, like so, and like so, like that. And you can see there, that's our little path area there. 
Obviously, it's nothing special, but it's just going to give us kind of an idea of what to do here. So, now that we've built our area right here, we're actually going to get on to do a building the fireworks show. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our scenery here. We're going to go into primitives. Just make sure everything is on default right here. And precision mode is uh, disabled. I'm just going to go default there. And then from this corner right here, we're going to go one and then two across like that. And we're just going to place two like this. And then we're going to place the exact same. So we're going to go one and then two across like that. And place another two there. And then in between there, right in the middle, we're going to place another two right there. Now, what I used right here is I use this wood right here. So we're just going to color all that wood in like so. And now we've got our places to put the fireworks. Now, for the fireworks right here, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a firework trailing sphere right here. We're just going to go on a uh, half snapping right here. And we're also going to enable precision build mode. And we're just going to place one of those right here. Now, keep in mind that this firework show is very expensive. It's probably going to cost you at least 100k, I'm guessing, right here. In fact, probably way more than that. I'd say this is probably going to cost you over £250,000. So just keep that in mind when you're actually building it right here. Make sure you have enough money before you start building this. So in here, what we're going to do is we're going to set our move snapping to a quarter. And we're going to set our rotation to 11.25 degrees. We're going to place that one right there. Then we're going to move it over by a quarter. Turn it by 11.25 degrees. And then we're just going to do that. And then we're going to also just do it again. Turn it by 11.25 degrees. And then move it by a quarter like that. And then we're going to do the exact same right here. We're going to go back into our finger here right here by holding shift, crawled, and then clicking on it right here. We're going to move it across by a quarter. We're going to rotate a bit, move it, move it by a quarter, rotate it, move it by a bit. And there you go. There's all our middle fireworks in like so. And then after we've done that, we're going to get some firework cascaded, right? Uh, if we just set our uh, horizontal to a eighth snapping and a vertical to just normal, of course, we're just going to place one of those right there, just off the edge. And same with one like that. So you can see there that it kind of is just a little bit off. Obviously not right on the edge, kind of just a little bit in. And then we're almost done now for this middle part. What we're next going to do here is get a firework disc like so. And we're going to place one of those in like that. We're going to move this across just by that. So it just goes onto the other side. So you can see that's replicated onto both sides there just so we can use them both at the same time. And then as well as that, we're going to get one of these fireworks fish. <laughs> I don't know why it's called fish there, but we're going to get a firework fish. Place that in right there. And of course, we're going to put it on the back like so. And over here, we're going to place that there. Put it on the front and there we go that's our main like little firework sort of floaty thingy there that are done uh, and then of course we need to do our other ones which are a little bit easier here so we're just going to get a firework flare right here i'm actually just going to grab this one because these are slightly recolored uh so we're just going to get these here and in the middle right here we're just going to place one then we're going to place another like that another like that and another like that and another like that so we've got five going in the middle right here now, both of these are duplicated, basically. So what I'm going to do right here, guys, is we're going to basically, you know, build this one right here. And then we're going to have a little cut in the video and this one's going to appear because they're both the exact same. Uh, but what we're going to do here then next is we're going to get a uh, firework sphere right here. And we're just going to place one of those right there and on the other side as well. And then finally, we're going to... Oh, actually, not finally. Sorry, we're going to get a firework fish right here. We're going to place that there, there there and there and then finally we're going to get one of these firework cascaded right here we're going to place one of those there and one of those there similar to how we did it over there now like i said this one is the exact same as this one so i'm going to quickly do that and i'll be back in a second so now that we've done that people we need to just change a couple things right here because if we watch our fireworks show here uh, if I just get in the, into the sequencer right here, if we just watch our, our fireworks show right here. You can see that these ones here are rainbow. And then we also have some blue ones that pop up in just a second right here. You can see these ones on the edge here are actually blue and changed intensity a little bit. So we're going to do that right now here. So what we're going to do here, this one here, we're just going to click on it. We're going to change this to primary power 75. It'll start off as 100. So we're just going to change that to 75 right here and the primary color to this red right here. For this next one here, we're going to again change it to 75. And then this is going to be this or uh, sorry, this yellow right here for this second one. And then for this third one right here, again, we're gonna go 75. And then we're gonna choose this green right here. Then for this one, again 75. And we're gonna choose this blue right here. And then finally here, we're gonna choose this purple right here. And again, it needs to be on 75%. All of those across there are on 75%. And you need to also do that exact same thing for these fireworks over here. Although, obviously, I'm not going to go through all that because you've probably worked it out by now. But that's not all. We kind of just need to do a couple extra ones right here. So if we look at these fireworks right here, you can see that these are, are slightly changed. So what we're going to do right here is we're going to click on this one right here, this stripey one here. 
and we're going to change the primary power to 75%. Again, these all are 100% by automatically, but we're going to change it to 75% uh, for the primary power. And for the secondary power, we're going to change it to 150%. And then for our primary uh, color right here, we're going to change it to this one here. And we're also going to change our secondary color to this one right here. And you need to change this one here, this one here, as you can see like that. Uh, you don't want to change these ones. These need to be the same. But these ones over here, you need to change these and you need to change it to these. So like I said, these ones just default. You don't want to change these at all. These should just stay the exact same. But these ones on the left and right float need to basically change to that stuff like that. So now we finally got all our fireworks in. Here comes the hard part. Now you may be thinking, well, that was fucking hard enough. Well, guess what, guys? It's not hard enough yet because next we need to get a sequencer in right here. So we're going to get our sequencer like that. I'm just going to go to a half grid snapping and a default vertical snapping. We're just going to chuck that in like so there. I might as well take off precision build mode there. But we're going to have our sequencer right there. And now this is where it starts to get quite confusing. And where it also gets quite complicated for me. Because honestly, I can't remember the entire firework show off the top of my head. But we're going to try our best here to remember it and make this as simple as possible for you guys. So what we're going to do here is every single time we add a new firework, we're going to click this add slash duplicate slash copy settings button right here. Now, if you don't understand how sequences work, then don't worry, I've got a video on my channel. I'll probably put it up in the cards, up in the top right right now, if I remember rightly. But obviously, I'll be showing you kind of how to do this here anyway. So don't worry if you don't quite know how to use the sequencer because I'm going to be showing it here. Or if you really want, uh, you can watch the video if you've got absolutely no clue. So what we're going to do right here is we're going to click add slash duplicate slash copy settings here. And we're just going to click on this firework right here and place that like that. We're also going to click on this one, place that at one second. So you can see, actually, I'm in 50% zoom right now. We'll put it to 75% just to make this a little, in fact, no, we'll put it at 50% just because it's a bit better in general. And you can see, uh, we're just going to line this up with one right here. So you can see, these are the amount of seconds here. So this is at zero seconds. This is at one second, two seconds. So after this uh, entire sequence has been playing for six seconds, it will do whatever is on this line right here. So we're going to place this at one second. And then we're also going to add this one right here on at one second as well. So now, so far, if I click play right here, you can see that one goes off. Then each of those go off either side like that, which means that everything so far is going quite well. So next thing what we're going to do is we're going to click add and we're going to do the, a very similar thing like that. We're going to add uh, that one at two. We're going to add this one at two. And that's just going to go like that. Now, this is where it starts to get a little bit more complicated because I cannot remember where we go from here on. So what we're going to do right here is we're just going to look in here and you can see, oh my lord. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I know what we need to do next right here then. Don't worry, guys. So what we're going to do is right here, we're going to start doing these rainbow ones right here. So we're going to click add slash duplicate slash copy settings. We're going to click on this one right here. And this is going to go at zero seconds like so. Then we're going to add this one here at 0.5 seconds or basically in between zero and one second. And then we're going to add this one at one second like so. Um, just like that. Then we're going to add this one at uh, 1.5 seconds. And then finally, we're going to add this one at one, uh, at about two seconds right there. So you'll see now that as we do this here, we've got these lovely fireworks coming down here. These lovely streamer fireworks coming down like this. And now, obviously, we also want to do it for the exact same over here. So we're going to click add slash duplicate settings. We're just going to click this one right here. We're going to add that one to two seconds. And by the way, again, if I'm going too fast here, feel free to just pause the video or slow down the video. Obviously, I just don't want this video to be too long. So I'm trying to go as fast as possible right here. But if I am going too fast, of course, just feel free to pause the video and have a look at what you're doing. So yeah, what we're going to do here is we're going to click this one right here. This one's going to go at 1.5 seconds. This one's going to go at one seconds like so. And then this one here is going to go at 0.5 seconds. And this one here is going to go at 0 seconds. So then next, people, what we're going to do right here is meanwhile, while these fireworks are going off here, we also want these middle disc ones to go off here. So we're going to just go down here to about two seconds. And we're going to add these on right here at two seconds right there. And we're also going to add these ones on at two seconds right here. Then next, what we're going to do here, people, is that we're going to just go back up here just so it's a little bit easier to follow what we're actually doing right here. And at four seconds here, we're going to add this one going off right here. And then we're also going to add this one going off right here. And then we're going to add these back ones going off at five and then at five like that. Okay, actually, I've made a mistake right there. We actually want to move these ones here 
to just four seconds like that. These ones want to go to four seconds like that. And then these ones right here, we actually want to move over to about six seconds right here. These ones want to go to six seconds right here. And then we also want to move these ones here to seven seconds like so and seven seconds like that and then the next thing that we're going to add in right here is the blue fireworks so we're going to start off by adding this one right here at seven seconds and then we're going to add this one on at eight seconds right here except from actually i can't quite fit that one in so we're just going to move down a little bit here and we're going to add that one in at eight seconds and then if we run over here we're going to add this one in at seven seconds and we're going to add this one in at eight seconds and then people what we're going to do next is we're going to go to oh i didn't mean to add that but we're going to go to about nine seconds right here and we're going to add these two on here we're going to add this one right here at nine seconds and we're going to add this one on at nine seconds then we're going to also add this one here at 11 seconds and this one here at 11 seconds just like that so then next what we're going to do here people is we're going to click our add duplicate button again right here and we're just going to click this one in at 13 seconds and meanwhile we're also going to click this one right here and place that in at the same time right here then what we're going to do is come over to here and we're going to place this one right here at 14 seconds like that and places at the same time and then we're going to come back over here and we're going to place this one in at 15 seconds this one again we're going to place this one here right here sorry and then we're going to place this one like that uh, at just 16 seconds like so just right there and then we're also going to add this one right here uh, like that so now people if you're wondering you should have something that looks a little bit like this so you can see we've got those coming there at the start and then they float up like that you've got that middle one that comes up there and then you've got this here boom boom all that sort of stuff there then you've got those two there those two there and then we've got those two going at the same time those two there then those two there those two there and those two there so, so far, it looks pretty nice. Next then, people, what we're going to do is we're just going to come all the way over to our end right here. And we're just going to add this middle one right here. And we're just going to add this at 18. To be honest, I, don't, I shouldn't have really put that so low down. It doesn't really make much sense. We're going to actually just add that up at the top right here. We're just going to have that one go off right there. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to come over here. And we're going to add in this one right here. And that's just going to go at 19. Then we're going to go to this one here at 20. Then we're going to come over at just a little bit more here. And we're just going to go to this one here at 21. Then this one here at 22. And then we're going to go, hang on people, let me just go across a little bit there. We're going to add this one here at 23 like so. This one here at 24. This one here at 25. And then this one here at 26. I've actually just realized, hang on, I've just realized, shouldn't we actually flip those around? I think they are actually spent. Yeah, these last two here are supposed to be flipped around. So sorry, guys, I, I've put that slightly wrong place. See, if we just flip these ones around here, they will now be right. And then to finish off the entire show right here, we're also just going to add one more thing here. So at the end right here, we're just going to add one big firework like this. And we're just going to activate that like that. And then I think that should look quite nice. So now if we look at the entire show all together right here, you can see right there, it goes like this. Then we've got that like that. Comes up like this. I should probably zoom out a bit, shouldn't I? We've got that like that. This like that. That goes up there. That goes up there. That goes like that. That goes like that. And you can see here, I think this looks quite nice, honestly. I think it turned out quite well. Um, I mean, you can see here, yeah, we've got that there. Then we've got that there coming up. And then to end it off, we've got that one final firework coming up there, which just ends that off. And then you can then just repeat that over and over or something like that. Now, the other thing that I wanted to quickly just talk about here before we ended off this episode is putting this thing on a timer. So you can either add this on a timer like this and add this onto this right here. And you can either do here periodic activity. So if you want this to be constantly running, I recommend running this uh, between 30 and 35 seconds because then it gives it a bit of time. Although if you want it to only come off, uh, go off every so often, maybe put it to like 600 seconds. That means that it will activate every 10 minutes right here compared to the normal, you know, every uh 35 seconds so it'll not be running as much and it'll mean that it won't just be constantly running or you know if you prefer you could also change it to time of day activity and you can see here that if you want it to go off 
at the end of the day, you could put it at like 80% or something like that. And when it's starting to go a bit more dark, actually, I'd say about 9% here. And when it started to go a bit more dark, it'll set off when it actually goes night here rather than just sending it off every so often. It'll just go off, you know, at the end of the day, which I think will look quite nice. But I mean, that's basically everything for today, people. I hope this tutorial has been helpful and hopefully not too long and too hard. But, you know, I've tried my best to make it as simple as possible. Obviously, sequencing is something that, you know, is kind of an acquired sort of skill. It's very hard to learn. It's very hard to teach here. So I hope I've done the best as I possibly can here. You know, please do leave a like and subscribe if you want to see maybe another fireworks show. Uh, and also, you know, here's all the lovely Twitch subscribers, patrons, and Discord services. You can become a patron at patreon.com slash cozy. You get early access to videos. You get uh, shout outs um, and, oh, and loads of sneak peeks and stuff like that. You can also become a Discord server boot booster at my discord or you can of course subscribe on my twitch but anyway guys except from that hope you've enjoyed this video please make sure that you know leave a like all that sort of stuff and check out some of my other channels and videos and all that sort of stuff that's all linked down below but except from that guys thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all in another video goodbye